What I plan on doing this time around is uh, I have a complete setup here um, and two identical boards. Uh, they're just inexpensive 8 bit boards, um, P35 or 965s, in case anyone's uh, curious. Uh, I have two identical boards, and what I'm going to do is, um, with the system running, I'm going to fire up Orthos and 3D Mark, uh, and then I have a bottle of a, mark, a, a coolant marketed as a non conductive. Uh, premix PC coolant, as well as a nice big bottle of distilled water. And what I'm going to be doing is uh, basically just dumping coolant on the whole system while it's running. Uh, I have it in this tray here just to, well, not make a mess on my desk. Uh, and the board is uh, raised off the bottom of the tray, so any pooling coolant uh, down there isn't going to just get trapped. <coughs> so, yeah, that's that's what's going on. Um, my main issue with a lot of these premix coolants is pretty much all of them are distilled water based. Uh, some of them have ethylene glycol in them, some of them have propylene glycol in them, um, but they're all mostly distilled water. So really what you're paying for when you buy a bottle is a whole bunch of distilled water with uh, a little bit of chemical and of course the, uh, the time that they spent to mix all of it. Um, that and you get to pay a bunch for shipping because, well, a liter of water is kind of heavy. Anyway, um, so that's that's my main gripe with these coolants, and really what I'd just like to point out is somehow them marketing them as being special non-conductive coolants uh, leads people to believe that, um, well, it's using straight distilled water in your system is a bad thing or might cause uh, damage to your system if it leaks. And the truth is any of these coolants can damage your system um, because really the moment they leak out onto stuff, the more contaminated the coolant becomes, if your parts are really dirty or dusty or whatever, um, the higher the likelihood of it shorting something out. Um, now these boards that I'm using are new boards. Uh, they have, they are just fresh out of the box, clean. Um, the card came from the test system. It's been blown off and cleaned up, so everything in here is is pretty clean. Um, so it's not nearly as dusty as most people's systems would be um, when doused with coolant. So let's go ahead and get Orthos going here. Let that page. And let's start with 3D Mark. Uh, 3D Mark performance is going to be the greatest. So like I said, it, it is a Celeron um, and a 6600 GT. So it's pretty dated hardware. But it should be good enough to at least help prove my point. <laughs> or at least uh, make this demonstration interesting. So this is a fresh bottle of coolant that um, hasn't been opened before. This has been sitting on my desk here waiting for me to get around to getting all this working. And, well, to simulate a leak, let's just kind of dump some in the area of the north ridge here. On the north ridge heat sink. Oh, let's get the power regulation stuff. Oh, is it still working? Hey, it's still working. Let's add a little more. Now, this obviously would be a really, really massive coolant leak because I've just uh, doused most of the top of the motherboard here. And I'm not really expecting this to fail. Um, I mean, especially if uh, the marketing hype is... Oh. Well, 3D Mark just locked up. Never mind. So, proof that if you dump a bunch of coolant on a clean board, it'll stop working too. Uh, let me go ahead and get this turned off and cleaned up and change the boards out. Okay, and here we are, fun with coolants, day two. Um, in case you're wondering why day two, I did decide to leave uh, the parts that I'm reusing, like the video card, the processor, and the memory, out to dry overnight, just in case I did splatter a little coolant on them yesterday. Um, but they've been thoroughly cleaned, so they're working. Uh, also, you'll note that I have the system running this time, uh, rather than waiting for it to start up. Figured it'd save some time. Uh, the board I used yesterday, right over here. I haven't tested it to see if it's still working or not. I'll probably do that later on, but that's not really something I'll be including in this video. Uh, as you can see, I already have uh, Orthos running and um, be firing up uh, 3D Mark next. Uh, same setup, same board, well, same type of board. Obviously, the board I used yesterday is over there. <coughs> so, and today we'll be dumping uh, distilled water on it. Uh, it may fail, it may not fail, but either way, the point is all of these coolants can cause problems with the system, 
um, and that you really shouldn't treat any coolant as being completely non-conductive because, well, like I said, they can pretty much all mess up your computer. So the best advice is don't leak coolant on your computer. Unless you're using Florinert, but that's, that's entirely different. You can go to town with that stuff. So, got a sealed water right here. Sealed, unopened. And I'll go ahead and fire up 3D Mark. And I'll give that just a moment to load. Okay, now I'm mainly just pouring coolant on the uh, motherboard itself, um, just below the processor in the Northridge area, same way I did yesterday. Uh, I got a little overzealous and dumped stuff over the CPU yesterday, but that was well after 3D Mark had stopped. Uh, so there's no real reason for me to do that today. That just makes a bigger mess for me to clean up. So here we go. There's a little bit, and we're still working. A little bit more, still working on the north bridge, still working. And let's get the PWMs like I did yesterday. Or sorry, not PWMs, voltage regulators. And it just completed the test. Hurry up and load the next test. Okay, it's loading the next test and right now there's quite a bit of water uh, just standing there on the motherboard. And it hasn't died yet. So let's keep dumping a little more on. Let's uh, hit more of the voltage regulators. No, nothing yet. I'm just going to start flooding the board now, because it's not dying. Nothing yet. Still not dead yet. Okay, uh, this is faring much better than the last board. Okay, yeah, the board is... This, okay, there it goes. Finally quit. Yeah, you'll notice it took a whole lot more of the distilled water uh, than it did the, um, the pre-mixed coolant to uh, stop the uh, computer from working. Um, I, I wouldn't so much attribute that to the coolant. Um, there's probably just something... Uh, well, okay, so I can't really explain it entirely. <laughs> I'm not really going to try to. But the system did last longer with the distilled water dumped on it. So, anyway... The point of this whole bit was just to show that um, that marketed as non-conductive or not, distilled water is still an excellent choice as a coolant. It offers you about the same level of protection as far as um, shorting components out goes. I mean, if you spring a leak, uh, there really isn't a reason to buy a lot of these premixed coolants uh, unless you don't, either don't want to mix your own coolant or. Um, or you like the colors they use. That's the only other reason I can think of to buy the, uh, the pre-mixed coolants. But, I mean, if, you, if color is what you want, you can always get dyes uh, to add to distilled water. Um, corrosion additives aren't necessarily something you need unless, uh, unless you're using a mixed metal system. If you're just using copper, brass, uh, inert plastics, nickel-plated components, that sort of thing, and there's no aluminum involved, or other dissimilar metals, then you don't need an anti-corrosive. So, if you want a uh, system with very, very simple coolant. I mean, you can go out and get yourself some UV tubing, uh, use just straight distilled water and a simple biocide, either something copper sulfate based or um, non alcohol iodine, or even just some high purity silver. You get some silver wire or something like, like that, put it in your reservoir. Uh, that'll give you the simplest coolant mix you can come up with that won't have any of the problems that people run into with all these pre mixed coolants and will basically uh, offer you the same level of protection at a much, much lower price. So that's pretty much all I have to say about these pre-mixed coolants.